Let's take a moment and check out the Bluetooth audio streaming on Pioneer's AVHX 4800BS. The first thing I want to do when I'm going to stream Bluetooth audio is make sure that I have a phone connected to the head unit. In this case, we're going to stream Bluetooth audio from my iPhone here over to the head unit. So I'm going to check to make sure that I'm connected through Bluetooth. The first thing I'll do here is look right here to make sure the Bluetooth logo is lit up in blue. And I can see that's the case. I can also touch the telephone menu here and I can see that my iPhone 5 is connected. We'll touch the X here to close that up. Or I can just switch to Bluetooth audio. Here's Bluetooth audio and select it. And if I touch the function button right here, and I'll check my phone list, I can see that my iPhone 5 is the connected phone. If I wanted to, I could switch to another device. We'll close that window. Okay, we're going to touch the time function here to go back to the scrubber bar. And I have uh, my play and pause function here. I can skip forward or back to the tracks. I can also use the hard keys to skip between tracks if I want. If I check the function menu here, there's my phone list. This is my random play and repeat functions here. And Pioneer's Advanced Sound Retriever is available here. If I touch the time button, I go back to the scrubber bar. On selected devices, I can search the device for music that's stored on the, on the phone. So I'm going to touch the search function here, and I'm going to search in my music, and we'll search in my music here for artists, albums, songs. Uh, let's search for songs, and I have my song list here. I can scroll down through my songs, and we'll pick this one. As you can see, that changes the song here and begins to play the new track. We can play music from almost any app on your phone that produces music, and depending upon the app, you'll have limited functions to advance tracks and change songs. This will work with my phone unlocked or locked. 